Hello everybody, I've not been on YouTube for a little while but I realised that Joomshape have released a, a fairly major update to their page builder platform for Joomla and that is for dynamic content which is basically a way to create your own content and structure within page builder and automatically have that laid out on your pages as you wish to. So as a bit of an intro, what I'm going to do now is walk through adding, setting up some testimonials. I've just done this for a client where they had a lot of testimonials on their website page and in page builder by default, they continuously had to keep copying and duplicating the add-on for testimonial, editing it, saving the page, that type of stuff. So what we're going to do now is show you how to set up. This is an example where any new testimonials that come in, you add them to the dynamic content section and the website page automatically will display those for you. So now inside Page Builder, we've got dynamic content. And by default, obviously, there's nothing there. So this is all built around the term of collections. So what we can do, we can either add a new one or they have some preset ones, recipes, events. We've got testimonials themselves already. Uh, quite a lot of different things in there that we can use. For now, I'm just going to add a new collection. And I'm going to call it testimonials. And by default, we always have to have a title field. Not sure whether that's there's a reason for that, but that's what it's there for. We can change that one, so we don't have to use it as a title. So for testimonial, uh, I'm going to call it the intro header, which will make sense in a little bit once it's there. We can add additional fields. So I'm going to add another text box and I'm gonna call this one the actual testimonial. We can, if we want to, so this will by default be a, a, a small text area. We can make this into a big text area and set the cat maximum character lengths, that type of stuff, and also make it a mandatory field. So if you've got clients that are gonna be filling this in on a website you built for them, making it mandatory because it needs to be there might be a, a useful technique for you to apply. I'm not gonna do that for now. So I'm going to do that one. I've got another custom field called um, name and company. And from there, I can do create collection. So there I've got it. So obviously, you can add as many different collection types as you want. You're not limited to one. So when I add a new item now, it's going to give me the fields that I've added in. So I've got my intro ahead of the earliest you can ignore. Um, I presume if you do certain types of collections, then the earliest you can set that in terms of the URL slug that will appear if you click on an element of that to open this in another page. Maybe that's a, a recipe page where you click it and it's a recipe. It might be the earliest in the URL of that recipe page. So the intro header might be um, the best web design company ever. The testimonial might be we worked with. Chris and he was amazing. Tonning cheek there, obviously. And the name company might be um, whatever you want to do, whatever the name of the company might be. And I'm going to save that one and save and close if you wish. So now I've got that entry in the the custom fields for the testimonials. I can add another one for the sake of having two. Um, website again, tongue in cheek for you all that are watching. Um, made this all up entirely. So, there we've got save and close I've now got my two testimonials so at the moment this is just data um, in the back end of the website that at the moment nothing can happen with at all so if I do back to my pages now when I click the add button I get a new dynamic content page and I can choose an existing collection I, well you have to choose an existing collection if you do this without collection place you can't do it so what I want to do here is an index would be like a grid layout, for example, of all the different testimonials. You could be able to click on them and view the individual one. But I want a detail page here. So I'm going to click detail page and I'm going to call it testimonials. 
dynamic content just so that I know what I've done at this point in time. So now if I add an element, I've got dynamic content as an element choice. So I'm going to just drag, so I add a new section. I'm going to add collection into here. What I can start to do is if I edit that collection, I can now choose the source, which in this instance is testimonials. I can choose the sorting. I can either set the limit manually or if you click on the little question mark, if you want every single one to show, minus one. Pagination is available as well. So if this was a recipe grid or whatever else it might be, that would be useful to stop you just getting an endless page of recipes all in one. So I can now start to build this up with the content that we've got. So I've got three text fields from my dynamic collection for testimonials. So I'm gonna add and edit the first one and I can select the field source. So I'm gonna choose intro header. The second one I'm gonna set as the testimonial and the third one I'm gonna set as the naming company. I'm just gonna save this for now. And if you, again, if you edit the actual collection section, you can change um, the layout of this one as well. So the, by default, it's a grid. For the testimonials, for now, I want to use a stack, and I'm going to do them as vertical, and I want them, yeah, basically by the default settings. If you use a grid, you can start to use the columns and the column gaps and stuff. A stack will just be down. If it's vertical or horizontal, um, we'll obviously span them across. I'm going to stick with a stack, a uh, vertical stack, and I'm going to save that now. If I click on preview, we'll now see those two testimonies in place without me having to do anything to them. So by default, that's how we can work out of the box. The best thing about this now is you can begin to style things a lot better. So if I want the, the testimonial title intro headed, for example, to be... Um, Let's pick a brand color, it's a bit of a blue. I can set that if I want as a H level or leave it as, as a standard. Um, I can select the font so I can make it a bit bigger. I could make it semi-bold and capitals, for example. So if I save that now, again on the preview, automatically we apply that to every single one. So no matter how many testimonials your client adds or you add, every single one will pick up the same style. The, the second one, I'm not going to change anything except I'm going to make it italic. And actually on the top, on, and what I want on here is I want to put a little margin on the bottom of it. Just so it's there. And then on the bottom one, which is the company name and the person. Again, I'm not going to change the font size, but I'm going to put that into semi-bold and I'm going to make it, for the absolute sake of demonstrating the fact you can, um, Make it a brighter blue. So again, now instantly, as soon as we load that page, they're all applied to that page layout completely. So as a really simple, straightforward example, that shows you a little bit through how to work with testimony and um, with dynamic content within Page Builder. Um, you've got the ability to add this to any page as well. So if I go back to my my home page, for example, which is not uh, a content dynamic content page, I can add. A collection to this as well so I could display the the latest three testimonials for example um, again the same as we've done on the previous one you need to add the text to this one and perhaps you can then the benefit of this is you can also style it again however you wish to so for this one for example you might want to make this as a grid um, so if I set these up without any styling initially, going to be intro header, testimonial, name and company. So I've only got two, but if I go back to my home page here, obviously we've got the grid now. We can do it that way around. So um, I think you can also filter this down. Where did I see this? Ah, so on the collection itself, you can filter it and add a condition so that you can actually place the. So this is perhaps not quite as ideal, but if you wanted to specif specify which three testimonies you wanted as opposed to just the last three, 
that have been added um you can obviously you've got a match of value to that one so you, you can still do it obviously um any all you know you've got a few options in there and there can be multiple conditions which i presume are going to be and as opposed to or but i'll have to test that out and see um but as an intro that's that's what it's all about um what it also has although i've not looked at this and i'll come back to this in a second video is you can um you can link where is it in there so if i edit the original one you can reference other collections within an existing one. Now, I haven't quite worked this out yet, but I will come back to it. I believe this lets you be a bit more dynamic even more. So if you don't have to duplicate content across multiple collections, um, I'm not sure yet what that will look like, but I know it's in the documentation. So I will have a look at that myself in the future and come back with a second video. Uh, in the meantime, any questions you've got, give me a shout in the comments below. Uh, keep an eye out for the next video. Thanks for watching.